Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Shane, and I'm with my buddy Grant here, and we're going to be talking today about live preview with Gatsby and Drupal. So we've been working with some of our team at Third and Grove, as well as the Gatsby team, to build this integration between Drupal and Gatsby. So if you're familiar with both, uh, you will kind of see how this helps streamline the development process, or at least the content editing process, between the two uh, distinct sites. In order to get started, though, you need this module from Drupal.org, and it's just Gatsby Live Preview. It's available at Drupal.org slash project slash Gatsby. And you will install this just like you would any other Drupal module. Once you have it installed, there's actually a configuration page where you just need to enter in one URL. So it's very simple to configure. And this URL is the URL to your Gatsby Cloud instance. And we'll talk about how you can get that set up in a little bit. The other thing I wanna mention on the Drupal side of things is we have a very specific data model set up. And if you're going to use our, our instance of Gatsby Preview or our instance of Gatsby, you're gonna need a similar structure. And we're using the paragraphs module and we have a few different paragraph components. We have an image component and a text component but you could have anything you wanted as you're building out your data model, as long as you map it correctly on the Gatsby side of things. And we just added this to our article content type, which is gonna be the only content type we talk about, but it works pretty simply. We just have a paragraph field that allows us to reference any of those paragraph types. We also have a media field, an image field, and all the other fields you typically see on the article content type. But that's it for the Drupal side of things. Let's talk about the Gatsby side of things. So Grant, you want to take it away? All right. Thanks, Shane. Uh, great introduction. Uh, looks pretty straightforward to set up. Uh, let's see if it's as straightforward on the Gatsby side. Uh, so as Shane mentioned, we have uh, a repo ready to go uh, for our test instance. Uh, this is what we've been using to uh, kind of test the preview uh, uh, functionality. Uh, so you can you can uh, clone that over, um, but I, I would recommend using it as a starter. Um, so what you can run is this command here. Uh, it's npx Gatsby new, whatever you want to call the project, and then just the URL to that repo. Uh, what that's going to spit out is this project here. Um, so you'll have the README. There's you know normal installation instructions, normal development stuff, um, but you have this one difference in your Gatsby source Drupal uh, plugin. You're able to turn on preview. So you just take that flag, set it to true. And what that does is that turns on uh, a server that's listening for changes uh, from a specific URL, uh, which we will get to in just a minute. Uh, there, there are some other things that we've set up here in a very particular way so that preview works. Um, Essentially, what uh, you want to do if you're building pages programmatically, uh, which is necessary in a lot of instances, uh, you want to create them with the smallest query possible. Um, so what I've done here is uh, basically taking uh, the path and the ID and creating a page. Uh, now, this page, which is our post.js, contains a larger, more complex query. So what this allows us to do is see the updates as they happen, uh, because Gatsby will only update uh, when a query is present on the page. Otherwise, it doesn't know to update that particular page. So this is very important. Um, so we're passing the ID here into the query. Um, and then on that particular article, uh, we're starting to pick off the data and fields that we want. Uh, one thing here that's very specific to the data model that we have uh, in our Drupal instance is uh, these fragments, these magic fragments uh, that allow us to pull off our paragraph text and our paragraph image. Um, so if you don't have a data model that matches this, uh, the, these will break. Uh, so it's, it's a little bit uh, delicate but it's, it's something to be aware of as you're building these queries. Um, and if you're dealing with paragraph content, you're gonna need to pull these off in fragments. Um, and it's, it's just uh, 
part of the deal when you're when you're working with this type of stuff. So with that said, uh, you, you've got your uh, Drupal instance up and running. You've got your data model incorrect. You've got your uh, queries on the Gatsby side. We now need to get a preview instance going. So if you're one of the lucky few that has uh, access to the alpha or beta or whatever phase it's in uh, when you're watching this video, uh, you'll get to a setup screen that looks something like this. So you're gonna connect it to the repository that you've just created. And eventually you'll get to uh, this dashboard. This preview URL is what you need to feed into your settings uh, over here. So as you can see, if we go into our config and we look at our live preview settings, that's the URL that's here. So what that's doing is listening for changes now. Uh, so both the front end and back end are connected. We've got our lovely doggos here and we can start seeing what this preview looks like. So if I wanna edit this content and add a few more exclamation marks because it's very exciting, we can do that and we can see immediately over on this side, it changes. It also changes in a list view. If we wanna go and edit another piece of content, whenever Drupal decides to get around to loading that content, I don't know. Uh, I don't wanna drink orange things. That sounds strange. Uh, let's drink some green things. Green sounds much more healthy anyways. Probably. And that, okay, I was primed. There's green in that image right there. So right. that's where it came from. So you can see also in the list view, it's changing. So this is, this is updating across the entire Gatsby site. Uh, another thing that's really exciting that uh, was not the easiest thing to implement um, is we, we talked about paragraphs and getting these uh, to update. So let's take a look at what that is. So we've got some awesome doggos. Uh, but not quite enough. I think we need more doggos. So let's add another image, which is a paragraph thing. That is the technical term, right, Shane? <laughs> thing, yeah, no. The paragraph one cool thing, thing, the one cool thing about this uh, is right now we have just simple paragraph types. It's just an image, but it could be, very complicated you know whatever you can do with paragraph types would work with with this setup as long as you had it mapped correctly on the gatsby side of things which, which is really exciting okay so we've uploaded a new image saved it uh to a paragraph and instantly it's it's loading and showing on the gatsby side um those pups are way more important than at the very least waffle pup uh, so I want to reorder this. I want to drag these guys up to the top. That's how I feel about pit bull puppies. All right. So this gives you a little bit of an, uh, an insight into kind of how to set a project like this up. Um, some of the intricacies of getting it to work correctly. Hopefully this, uh, will keep you from running into some issues, if you have any any problems with the Drupal module, Shane, where can they uh, uh, yep. file issues for that? If you're trying out the Drupal module and you run into problems, uh, right now there's really not much to it, so I don't think you'll run into too many issues. But if you do, just use the issue queue on drupal.org. We have a lot of cool new features we're building out on both the Drupal and the Gatsby side, so that's probably going to become more active as we're getting a little more experimental with what we're putting out there. But definitely let us know if you do run into anything uh, on the Drupal side. And what about the Gatsby side of things? Uh, so for the Gatsby source plugin, uh, if you have issues, there's a PR in place uh, to merge uh, this kind of splintered plugin, which is the Gatsby source Drupal preview plugin. We're, we're going to be merging that into the, the main Gatsby source Drupal plugin. Uh, so there's a PR in place. If that's been merged, file an issue just straight in Gatsby uh, referencing the Drupal source plugin. Um, so hopefully there's not too many issues. Uh, I, I can't imagine there would be uh, until we start, like Shane said, pushing some of the more kind of experimental um, 
features. Uh, but those are those are to those are to come. Uh, those are down the line. Uh, hopefully, this is exciting enough to uh, tide you over until this gets even better. Um, but thanks for watching. Hopefully, this was helpful, and we'll see you in the future. See you next time.